वेलकम टू सुपीरियर प्रॉफिट वीकली मार्केट राउंड अप 13 जनवरी 2019 आई एम सागर नंदी चीफ एनालिस्ट एंड ट्रेडर एट सुपीरियर प्रॉफिट बेस्ड इन सिंगापुर आई विल नॉट टेक टाइम टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड टू नो मोर अबाउट मी द कंपनी सुपीरियर प्रॉफिट और मोर इंपॉर्टेंटली हाउ इट कैन हेल्प इन योर ट्रेडिंग यू मे विजिट द वेबसाइट सुपीरियर प्रॉफिट डॉट को and click on the about menu before we begin we go through the standard disclaimer this demonstration is for educational purposes only it is designed to share information on superior profits trading system the information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading past performance is no guarantee of future return superior profit is not an investment advisor This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, we will look at oil and gold, these two commodities using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading stocks, we like to trade them in the direction of the market we'll analyze market's direction using nasdaq and nyse market breadth and technical analysis of market etfs in addition to aligning trades with the market's direction we like to align them with the industry strength we'll study industry strength using scorecard and heat map along the way we may look at some of the recent trade ideas shared in our traders forum and look at potential trades for the coming week that was the last slide of the presentation let's move to live system we begin our commodities analysis using oil we are looking at the oil futures cl using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart together we call this at a glance template because it helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds oil bounced up from the weekly memory support line and since then it went up for two successive weeks if you followed our twitter page you were alerted of the possibility of the bounce just as it was happening and you could take a very profitable long position in oil since then oil went up oil was overbought until thursday and on friday it pulled back somewhat displaying the bear release signal showing that it is not overbought anymore if now oil pulls back little bit and goes up again that may give us a trend following go with flow swing long trade opportunity gold etf gld gold is going up for several weeks one week ago i mentioned that the weekly candle was giving mixed signal it had a hollow body that was bullish but it also had a long upper tail that was bearish this week gold had an inside weak candle it couldn't go beyond the high of the previous week in the daily chart one week ago price closed at the upper boundary level and this week it effectively moved sideways price is still near the upper boundary level that is too extended for us to take any long trade it is in an uptrend therefore there is no short trade opportunity either from commodities analysis we move on to market strength analysis we are starting with market breadth analysis Here we are looking at Nasdaq Composite Index and NYSE Composite Index, both using weekly charts. 
because this analysis is using broad indices and longer term weekly interval it is to be used for longer term investment decisions you may use it also for swing trading but certainly not for day trading we are also looking at three pairs of internals new high low advanced decline and up down volume both nasdaq and nyac went up for three successive weeks in a row nasdaq is coming close to the memory resistance line nyac memory resistance line is still some distance away there is no green dot on top of the nyac or the nasdaq candle showing that they are not overbought yet on the weekly chart the internals are bullish all the six internals closed above zero new high low went up and the other internals went down but all closed above zero combining the candle charts and the internals we have to conclude that though we are in a longer term downtrend price recovered for three successive weeks it may be able to move up little bit more however there is a memory resistance in nasdaq nearby that may lead to price stopping or even reversing from that level internals for this week are bullish let's see what conclusion we can arrive at from the market etfs analysis S&P 500 ETF SPY this week ended with a bullish shape and bullish color candle after displaying the bull release signal price has gone up for three successive weeks in the daily chart also price displayed a bull release signal while it reversed from the longer term pivot level the yearly pivot support level and since then price has steadily gone up at the right edge spy is overbought shown by the green dot appearing on top of the candle and it is at a pivot level that may act as resistance that is the quarterly or yearly pivot level because price is already overbought this may not be the right time to buy into spy and there is no short signal therefore you may not take any short trade either there is also a memory support line in the daily chart if price breaks down below the memory support then it will create a reversal from the pivot resistance and you may look for a short opportunity at that time either in spy using real time fine tune chart or maybe in its component stocks nasdaq etf qqq bullish shape and color candle in the weekly chart weekly is coming close to the memory resistance but there is still some distance to that in the daily chart price displayed a bear release signal at the yearly pivot resistance level it is inside a triangle pattern formed by support memory and resistance memory in the daily chart you may not take any directional trade unless price can break out of this triangle pattern dow jones industrial average etf dia weekly candle color and shape are bullish in the daily chart it is near the pivot resistance level price is supported by the memory support line this chart is very similar to that of spy you may not take any long trade because it is at pivot resistance and you may not take any short trade because it has memory support russell 2000 etf iwm you can see from the relative performance copper color dotted line that it is 
outperforming the market. The weekly candle color and shape both are very bullish. In the daily chart, the green dots appearing on the last several candles are showing that price is overbought. On Friday, the candle color changed to neutral, that is yellow. Price is near pivot resistance level. Price is overbought and it is at pivot resistance. Therefore, you will avoid taking any long trade in IWM right now. If you combine the market breadth analysis and the market ETFs analysis, you can see that Price is bullish, market is bullish, however, price is also overbought and several ETFs are near longer term, quarterly or yearly pivot resistance level. Therefore, you will avoid taking any long trade right now. Watch the market. If it starts to go down, you may look for shorting opportunities in the weakest stocks. And if the price consolidates somewhat and starts to go up, you may look for new long opportunities at that time. That is the conclusion we can arrive at from the market level analysis. However, when you drill down into the sector industry level and then further into stocks fundamentals and technicals, you are always able to find low risk, high probability trading opportunities where the industry level, fundamental level and technical level forces are aligned together. We call this 360 degrees analysis. Four week sector performance analysis. We are looking at the 11 sectors and analyzing them across three review periods. The red bar represents performance of this week. Green bar represents performance of one week prior to the red bar and the blue bar represents performance of two weeks prior to the green bar. Any bar coming to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up and any bar coming to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down. All the red bars are to the right of the zero line showing this week all the sectors went up. This shows a bullish picture at the sector level. Energy is the best performing sector this week and it was the best performing sector one week ago as well. Prior to that, in the blue two weeks period, it was the worst performing sector. Therefore, energy transition from being the worst performer to the best performer and using QH sector acceleration you could catch the turn around well ahead of others as I discussed in previous weekly market roundups. Energy reversed from being the worst performer to the best performer and in utilities we have the opposite scenario. Utilities used to be the best performing sector and now it is the worst performer for two successive weeks. It started the turn around precisely from when I mentioned about the role reversal in the weekly market roundup two weeks ago. That analysis was timely and was based on QH real time sector rotation analysis. QH sector rotation analysis using scorecard and heat map. QH analyzes the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 days, 5 days, etc. Cyan color represents strength and magenta represents weakness. Energy is the best performing sector of the week followed by information technology. Utilities is the worst performing sector followed by financials. Looking at Energy, you can see it was the worst performer before in magenta color in prior review periods and now it has become the best performing sector. The opposite is true for utilities. It used to be cyan color, the best performer earlier with the biggest possible score 
and now it is in magenta color with the worst possible score. This sector scorecard and heat map is updated in real time during market hours and keeping an eye on this you are able to take long positions in the strongest sectors look for shorting opportunities in the weakest sectors. However, sector level is quite broad. To make more accurate trading decisions, you may look at the industry level to decide where to buy and where to look for shorting opportunities. Best performing industries of this week, we are looking at these industries 5 days and 10 days scores. In superior profit way, we like to take long positions only in industries that are strong. Therefore, you will look for buying opportunities in these industries. Energy is the best performing sector that is reflected in industry performance as well. Two of these 10 best performing industries are in energy sector. These are oil and gas drilling and oil and gas equipment and services. In oil and gas drilling, we have two stocks, NBR and PES. They went up by 46% and 43% respectively in last 10 days. These are massive gains. Both have an optimal valuation, excellent recent quarter earnings growth, and a short squeeze potential. You could find this out easily from QVital stock scorecard. Both of these stocks displayed bull release signal at the very bottom after prolonged bearish stretch. You could see that in the Q technical charts. Also from the Q charts you could see NBR reverse from yearly pivot level and PES displayed a bullish Q headwind reversal signal in the weekly chart at the very bottom before it reversed. For both of these stocks, you may now look for a low risk buying opportunity in the coming days provided the industry remains strong and if such a trade setup appears in the coming days, it will most likely be Q go with flow trend following long trade setup. QH industry scorecard and heat map. The analysis that QH does for the 11 sectors, it does the same analysis for hundreds of industries. From this industry scorecard and heat map, you can instantly recognize the best performing industries for this week. They are displayed in cyan color under 5 days column. Oil and gas drilling and oil and gas equipment and services both are very strong now their five day scores are in cyan color and looking to the right you can see they were very weak their scores were in magenta color if you drill down into the oil and gas drilling stocks from the stock scorecard and heat map you can instantly see nbr and pes as having optimal valuation. You know that from the cyan color coming in the valuation column. If you look at the latest quarterly earnings growth, the year over year quarter zero earnings growth, both of them have earnings growth in bright green color. Therefore, they are having excellent earnings growth in the latest quarter as well. NBR pays a dividend of 8% and from the short squeeze column you can see both of the short squeeze scores are in cyan color showing there is a short squeeze potential. How much did they go up in last 10 days? You can scroll to the right from vital panel to the performance panel and you can see over last 10 days NBR went up by 46 plus percentage and PES went up by 43 percentage. These were massive gains. NBR using at a glance template. 
it had a sharp drop in the weekly chart that was accompanied by heavy activity. In the daily chart, the stretch signal kept on appearing for many days, showing that the bears were pushing price down. The stretch signals appearing below the candle show that the bears were dominant in the market. Then we had a bull release signal at the very bottom and the candle color turned yellow. There was a yearly pivot support level. You wouldn't consider taking any long position until price could go above the yearly pivot support constituting a false downside breakout. The false downside breakout happened with heavy activity. At minimum, if you had any short position, you would exit the short position at that time and you could consider taking a long position that would have very narrow stop loss. At the right edge, price has gone up. It became overbought, shown by the dots coming on top of the candles. And on Friday, the overbought condition went away, shown by the bear release signal. The weekly candle color and shape both are bullish. Now in the daily chart, if price pulls down little bit and goes up again, that may give us the first possible trend following go with flow long trade setup. PES using a glance template. Here we had a bullish headwind possible reversal signal in the weekly chart at the very bottom. And then price went up. This week's candle color and shape both are bullish. In the daily chart, the stretch signals, the red or magenta dots, showed that bears were in control for a long time and then there was a bull release signal. That was around the same time that we had the bullish headwind in the weekly chart. Looking at that, at minimum, you would book profit in your short position and you would start to look for buying opportunity. At the right edge, price is overbought, shown by the green dots appearing on top of the candles. Because it is overbought, you are not going to take any long position. Price is also near the quarterly pivot resistance level. If price comes down little bit and starts to go up, then you may consider taking a long trade. That would be a go with flow trend following long trade setup. The first possible trend following long trade setup after the sharp drop in the stock. Was performing industries of this week. We are going to look for shorting opportunities in these industries. Household appliances is one of them. In this industry, H-E-L-E -E dropped by more than 15% this week. This stock has a medium valuation and negative recent quarter earnings growth. Therefore, the fundamentals are weak and you would look for shorting opportunity. Interestingly, both the Q weekly as well as daily charts displayed the unique headwind reversal signal at the very top. You could use that to protect profit in any existing long position and you could look for low risk shorting opportunity since the appearance of the bearish headwind signals. After the bearish headwind signal, HELE gave a go with flow short setup on 14th December. That was the first possible trend following short opportunity and that trade ended up being highly profitable. In QH industry scorecard and heat map, the worst performing industries of the week are shown by magenta color under 5 days column. These are the industries where you would look for shorting opportunities. Household appliances is one of them. It is magenta color in the recent review periods showing that it is weaker relative to other industries. 
if you look to the right the scores were in cyan color showing that it was stronger earlier if you drill down into the underlying stocks instantly you can see HELE has medium valuation that is shown by yellow color under valuation column and the latest quarterly earnings growth is negative minus 4.8 percent medium valuation negative earnings growth you will look for shorting opportunities in this stock HELE using Q at a glance template it displayed the bearish headwind signal at the very top in both weekly and daily charts after the bearish headwind in the daily chart price came down tried to recover and displayed a magenta color candle that candle shape was also very bearish with long upper tail by that time we already had lower high and lower low Therefore, this magenta color candle gave the first possible trend following short opportunity after the bearish headwind signals. You could take the shot at the close of that candle, placing stop just above the recent high. As price came down and hit the lower boundary level, you could book partial profit with discipline and hold on to the remaining position to let profit run. Why would you hold on to the remaining position trying to let profit run? You would do that because the industry was weak and the stock's fundamentals were also weak and technically the stock was dropping. By doing that you are now able to let profit run. The stock dropped by more than 15% this week. In the weekly chart the technicals are very weak. The fundamentals are weak as well. And the industry is also one of the weakest industries. Therefore, you would continue to hold on to the remaining position. Probably you will use Q protection signal for trailing stop to make sure that in case the stock reverses upward, your profit doesn't erode much. Other than using the best performing and worst performing industries to look for long or short opportunities, we also use the acceleration and deceleration of industries looking for long and short opportunities respectively. Accelerating industries are those that may not be at the forefront but they are gaining momentum fast. Real estate is the most accelerating sector. You can see that from sector scorecard and heat map and four of the most accelerating industries are in this sector. These are industrial rates, residential rates, healthcare rates and diversified rates. Last week in the Monday morning meet live webinar recording of which is available in YouTube channel Superior Profit channel, I mentioned about EGP as one of the many real estate stocks that were near support and could go up. EGP was near weekly memory support and daily had displayed the bullish headwind possible reversal signal. EGP has positive recent quarter earnings growth. Even though the industry was one of the worst performers one week ago, based on the complete 360 degrees analysis, I suggested looking for long trade setup on EGP. You could take the long position on Friday 4th January using the weekly memory support and the daily bullish headwind signal and by now the trade has covered much more than the risk distance. You could book at least partial profit and use Q protection signal to protect profit in the remaining position and try to let profit run. Back to QH sector scorecard and heat map. The PACE column shows the accelerating and decelerating sectors. Cyan color represents acceleration, magenta color represents deceleration. Real estate and information technology are the most accelerating sectors. 
if we look into the accelerating industries which are displayed in cyan color under page 5 days column you can see several real estate industries are among the most accelerating industries industrial rates is one of them it has gained score considerably between 10 days and 5 days periods if we drill down into the industrial rate stocks we can identify EGP EGP is the only stock having bright green earnings growth in the latest quarter therefore if you were to look for a buying opportunity you would look for that in EGP this is EGP using at a glance template for two weeks price tried to go below the weekly memory support line but reversed strongly and closed above the memory support line this week again it tried to go below the memory support but reversed strongly ending with a very bullish shape and bullish color candle in the daily chart price came to the memory support line and at this point it displayed a bullish headwind signal the weekly candle shape was already bullish therefore you could start thinking about taking a long trade using the headwind trade setup that is a reversal trade setup that we have and you could look for the buying opportunity using the unambiguous checklist for this headwind trade setup because the headwind candle had a long upper tail you wouldn't enter the long on that candle instead you could wait for the next day and take a long using early range breakout technique you could enter long probably somewhere in the middle of the candle putting stop just below recent low since then price has gone up strongly by this friday it has given profit that is much more than the risk taken in the trade therefore you could book at least partial profit the technicals are very strong the industry is accelerating and the stock has increasing earnings growth therefore in this case you would have no reason to exit full position you would book partial profit following discipline and hold on to partial position using Q protection signal to apply trailing stop and try to let profit run decelerating industries these were stronger earlier and losing momentum now therefore you will look for shorting opportunities here communication services is the most decelerating sector and three of the most decelerating industries are in that sector these are integrated telecom services cable and satellite and wireless telecom services in integrated telecom services you can find cbb it has the weakest earnings growth among peers negative earnings growth and it has poor earnings quality as well it is turning down from daily memory resistance trend line if the stock and its industry continue to weaken you may look for a low risk shorting opportunity in this stock from q edge sector scorecard you can see communication services its score under five days column is in the middle however the weakness deceleration is shown by the pace five days column it is in magenta color it has the lowest possible pace score showing it is the most decelerating sector from the industry scorecard and heat map we can find the most decelerating industries looking at the magenta color under pace five days column integrated telecom services is one of them it was stronger in the previous review period under 10 days it was in cyan color and now under five days it has become somewhat magenta if we drill down into the stocks we can find cbb it has medium valuation 
valuation is in yellow color if you look at the yearly as well as the quarterly earnings growth the recent quarters earnings growth all are in bright red negative this has the weakest earnings growth and negative earnings growth among the PR stocks decelerating industry therefore you will look for shorting opportunities and then you will identify the weakest stock CPP is the weakest stock in terms of earnings growth the last step will be to look for a trade setup on Q technical charts this is CPB using at a glance template from the weekly chart we see that it tried to recover as the market also recovered for three weeks however this week ended with an indecisive shape candle it has hollow body as well as long upper tail and the color is also neutral unlike the market the market ETFs all are having cyan color in the weekly chart CBB couldn't turn cyan in the weekly chart it remained yellow in the daily chart price recovered but came to the memory resistance level displayed a bear release signal and then couldn't go up anymore Friday's candle color is neutral but the shape is bearish if it falls down from the memory resistance level you may consider taking a low risk short trade putting stop just above the recent high and you could book partial profit at the lower boundary or as soon as the risk distance is covered those were the regular topics for the weekly market roundup in the monday morning meet the live public webinar I will analyze more stocks. You may register for that session from the education live class page. I will analyze some stocks that may be giving buying or shorting opportunities. And I will also look at some of the recent trade ideas shared in our traders forum and explain how you could identify those trade setups using Q360 degrees analysis how you could enter the trades and also manage the trades before i end let me summarize market breadth and market etf analysis are showing that market is bullish however several market etfs are overbought and several of them are at pivot resistance level quarterly or yearly pivot resistance level therefore you may not look for new buying opportunities now you may wait if the price pulls down little bit and then starts to go up then you will have new low risk buying opportunity that is all that i plan to share in today's session thank you for attending i look forward to seeing you in our next market roundup session and also in the monday morning meeting have a great weekend and trade profitably <music>